Al Jazeera America is an American basic cable and satellite news television channel that is owned by the Al Jazeera Media Network. The channel, which was launched on August 20, 2013, directly competes with CNN, HLN, MSNBC, Fox News Channel, and in certain markets, RT America. The channel is Al Jazeera's second entry into the U.S. television market, after the launch of Bein Sport in 2012. The channel is headquartered and run from studios on the first floor of the Manhattan Center in New York City. It also has a total of 12 bureaus located in places such as Washington, D.C., at the channel's D.C. studios at the Newsom and Al Jazeera's D.C. hub, Chicago, Detroit, Nashville, Los Angeles, Seattle, New Orleans, Dallas, Denver, Miami, and San Francisco. The channel is the sister channel of Al Jazeera's international English-language news channel Al Jazeera English. Although operated and managed completely separately with America's management based in the United States, the two share United States studios and bureaus such as the DC Hub and Al Jazeera America run some of Al Jazeera English's programming and many of its live newscasts alongside its own. As of February 2015, 61,513,000 homes receive Al Jazeera America. Development The creation of Al Jazeera America was announced on January 2, 2013, along with the announcement that the network had purchased the user-generated content channel 10 progressive-oriented cable television channel Current TV which had long been struggling in the ratings and after two format changes had announced in October 2012 that it was considering a sale of the channel. It was reported that Al Jazeera planned on shutting down current TV, keeping its production staff and possibly some programs, and using the company's distribution network to broadcast Al Jazeera America. Current TV, by coincidence, was formerly Newsworld International, an international news channel similar to Al Jazeera America run by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. On July 22, 2013, Al Jazeera America named former ABC News Vice President Kate O'Brien as president of the network, and Hob Al Shiabi as interim CEO in charge of business affairs. In addition, Former CNN veteran David Doss was named Vice President of News Programming and former CBS News executive Marcy McGuinness was named Vice President of News Gathering. Former MSNBC executive Shannon High Bass Alec was named Senior Vice President of Documentaries and Programs. Al Jazeera said it received more than 21,000 job applications for 400 positions at its U.S. network. Approximately 200 current TV employees including some 50 in editorial, were absorbed by the new operation. It planned to have a total of 800 employees at the channel's launch. Al Jazeera America also announced that the channel would employ well-known veteran journalists, anchors, and producers. On July 3, 2013, Ali Velshi confirmed that Al Jazeera America's launch would take place on August 20, 2013. The launch took place at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on that date, with an hour-long preview special entitled This is Al Jazeera. News coverage began immediately afterward at 4 p.m. Al Jazeera America's website launched on August 8, 2013. Content and Programs Originally 60% of the channel's programming would be produced in America, while an additional 40% would come from Al Jazeera English. That has since changed to almost all of the channel's program content being originated from the United States. In an interview with the New York Times, head of international operations Hub Al Shabi said Al Jazeera America's content on most days will primarily be domestic news. But Al Jazeera Euro unregistered trademark S70 bureaus around the world will mean that we will have an unparalleled ability to report on important global stories that Americans are not seeing elsewhere. We will do that when it is warranted. Al Shabi said that the channel would feature less political discussion and celebrity news, and that news gathering will take priority over maximizing profits. Its three hour morning program will have a different format focusing on hard news and not a group of anchors chatting on a couch. Al Jazeera America airs live programming at all hours, including half hour news bulletins at 2 or 3 a.m while other cable news channels run rebroadcasts of the previous evening's primetime programs. 
a three-hour morning show, talk shows and tape documentaries are also planned. Three Al Jazeera English programs that are based in Washington, The Stream, Inside Story and Fault Lines were included on the launch schedule, as well as the Frost interview and listening post. The flagship nighttime show is called America Tonight. It is a weeknight news magazine that presents the day Al Euro unregistered trademark as news in Al Jazeera's long-form style with stories that are not covered elsewhere. Al Jazeera America's original senior executive producer for news and special projects was Bob Hulock, a former senior producer for ABC and NBC News. Hulock left the network shortly after the launch to head up a political campaign in Delaware. CNN chief business correspondent and the anchor of Your Money, Ali Velshi was the first major name to join Al Jazeera America. He hosts a daily, half-hour show originally called Real Money with Ali Velshi now called Ali Velshi on Target. The show was originally going to be once a week until the end of 2013 before becoming a daily show but launched as a daily show. The channel has a 16-person investigative unit and hired veteran National Headline Award-winning journalist Edward Pound to lead its investigation division. Josh Bernstein of Denver Fox affiliate KDVA was hired as the lead investigative reporter, along with Trevor Aronson an award-winning author and investigative journalist and the former co-founder and associate director of the non-profit Florida Center for Investigative Reporting who will serve as the network's investigative digital reporter based in Washington, D.C. It later hired Andrea Stone, most recently of the Huffington Post, and Tony Caron, most recently of Time magazine, to manage both U.S. and global coverage for the channel's website and other digital platforms. The two will determine the overall editorial direction for the site and both will be based in New York City. The channel also hired Kim Bondi, a former executive producer with CNN to produce its flagship news program America Tonight, a news magazine program that is hosted by original CNN international anchor and former CBS News correspondent Chua Chen, produced from Al Jazeera America's Newsom studio in Washington, D.C., and featuring correspondents Adam May. Laurie Jane Gleher, former CBS, ABC and CBC News correspondent Sheila McVicker and former current TV correspondent Christoph Pusel. The program presents in-depth segments each night on the economy, government, education, healthcare and the environment, and include breaking news stories. The program also features work by the Al Jazeera American Investigative Unit and covers stories in-depth from across America revealing new insights on the news of the day and breaking stories with its own original reporting. America Tonight also incorporates social media interaction on screen and off to reflect the views of its American audience. On July 1, 2013, longtime CNN anchor Soledad O'Brien was hired to be a special correspondent for America Tonight, as well as a deal with her production company Starfish Media Group to produce long-form documentaries for Al Jazeera America. An American version of the popular Al Jazeera English program The Stream was originally also featured on the channel. Produced from Al Jazeera's Washington, D.C. hub, and hosted by veteran journalist and former ABC News correspondent Lisa Fletcher. The show formatted to allow viewers to interact with Fletcher and her guests during the program via Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus Hangouts and Skype. The show's social media team and second screen technology enable viewers to engage 24 hours a day with new content, comments, user-generated videos and a variety of posts. The stream relies heavily on a variety of online resources and social media tools to connect with people across the United States and around the world. This includes Storify, which allows the aggregation of additional information, links, and photos about show topics on the website. Video Genie, which enables viewers to leave video questions for the show 24-7. And Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Reddit. It also hosted Google Plus Hangouts and uses Skype rather than satellite feeds for nearly all guest interviews. Less hard news orientated than Al Jazeera America's other shows, guests included everyone from civil rights group leaders to Kathy Griffin. On July 21, 2013. The network hired former Fox News, MSNBC, and current TV veteran David Shuster to host a show during the evening hours. 
Shuster is currently an analyst on the midday and evening news on the channel as well as a fill-in host. On July 26, 2013, the network announced that former Good Morning America host and award-winning journalist Antonio Mora would host a current events talk show called Consider This, a program which showcased hard-hitting interviews and panel discussions on issues important to American viewers. Consider This also featured interactive segments where the audience will join the conversation via social media. The first episode of the show highlighted the hunger strike and court-approved force feeding in California's prison system. Mora now anchors the late news. The show was replaced by a similar program Third Rail. The channel announced plans to produce and acquire documentaries. Kathy Davidov and Cynthia Kane were hired as the senior executive producer and senior producer for its in-house documentary film unit. Davidov comes from the National Geographic Channel, where she produced shows such as Border Wars and The Explorer Special. Kane came from ITVS, where she managed over 150 projects and worked with the Sundance Channel. On April 13, 2014 the channel began showing Borderland, a documentary series on illegal immigration which follows six Americans as they retrace the fatal journey of three undocumented migrants who died attempting to cross into the United States. Borderland was the first documentary series for the channel. A second one called The System focused on the U.S. prison system. New staff Al Jazeera America's news anchors include Randall Pinkston formerly of CBS News, John Sage and Thuller, formerly of NBC News and WSMV in Nashville, Antonio Mora, formerly of ABC, Rochelle Carey, formerly of CNN and HLN, Jonathan Betts, formerly of WFAA in Dallas and WWL-TV in New Orleans, Tony Harris formerly of sister station Al Jazeera English and CNN and Stephanie S.Y. Equals other people equals, Mike Vicarera was hired on June 5, 2013 to be Al Jazeera America's first White House correspondent. In November 2013, Al Jazeera America hired Rachel Arez formerly of PBS New Shower to host Inside Story. Programming, the morning and afternoon hours contain live news. International morning and midday news segments are provided by Al Jazeera English with New Shower equals current programming equals, in addition to those listed below, Al Jazeera America like its international sister channel runs various programs that are either entirely non-recurrent or consist of just a limited number of parts. Produced by Al Jazeera America, Ali Velshi on Target a Euro A show hosted by Ali Velshi from New York City that focuses on current affairs which provides context and analysis around current political and economic issues along with interviews. Inside Story a Euro hosted by Rachel Arez from Washington, D.C. show provides analysis, background and context on the top stories of the day. Each episode features a panel of expert guests who examine and debate domestic and international topics ripped from the headlines. America Tonight, Al Jazeera America Euro unregistered trademark S flagship show, hosted by Zhua Chen from the Newsom in Washington, D.C., a 30-minute long news and current affairs magazine. Segments feature in-depth reports on subjects such as the economy, government, education, healthcare, and the environment, as well as breaking news featuring correspondents from across the country. Your World This Morning A Euro hosted by Stephanie S.Y., Del Walters, and Nicole Mitchell from New York City, morning block of national and international news. News A Euro Domestic and International News from New York City, hosted by various anchors including Tony Harris, Antonio Mora and John Sage and Thaler. Talk to Al Jazeera, interview program with prominent world figures by various anchors and journalists. Fault Lines A Euro hosted by Josh Rushing, Zena Orwood, and Sebastian Walker, a show that takes viewers behind a particular story and reports on it in depth using in-depth interviews and investigative reporting. Techno, hosted by Phil Torres and others from Los Angeles, a fast-paced, 30-minute show that explores and exposes how the latest scientific discoveries are changing our lives. Compass with Sheila McVicker, hosted by Sheila McVicker, program focuses on foreign policy issues. Third Rail, hosted by Ali Velshi, weekly current affairs program tackling controversial issues and probe perspectives with moderated debate, 
three-person panels and reports from Al Jazeera correspondents around the world. Al Jazeera America presents a Euro documentary and investigative series focused on a specific topic such as borderland and the system. Produced by Al Jazeera English, news from Al Jazeera English, World News Live from Al Jazeera's Doha Broadcast Center, World News Live from Al Jazeera's London Broadcast Center, New Shower Euro an hour of World News and Sport hosted from both of Al Jazeera English's broadcast centers in Doha and London. Listening Post a Euro hosted by Richard Gisbert from London, current affairs program that critiques journalism and the media industry around the world. 101 Easter Euro the weekly documentary series for issues of particular importance in Asia. Presenters or hosts have included Tamar Nabali and Fawzia Ibrahim, People and Power a Euro a bi-weekly program, originally hosted by Dr. Shereen El Friki. Witness a Euro the daily documentary slot for films by the best of the world's independent filmmakers. The Strand aims to shine a light on the events and people long forgotten by the global media and on those which never merited a mention in the first place. Produced jointly, Al Jazeera investigates a Euro documentaries arising from the work of the Al Jazeera investigative unit. Imported, the truth is. A Euro series imported from Australia. Also airing at various times are the Al Jazeera English programs Earthrise, Al Jazeera World and Al Jazeera Correspondent along with shows brought in from other channels in the UK and Australia. Programs from Al Jazeera English not shown on Al Jazeera America such as Empire and Upfront are unblocked and can be seen on Al Jazeera English's website. Equals past programming equals, consider this a Euro Week night current affairs talk show with Antonio Mora from New York City. Show features interviews with prominent newsmakers, panel discussions that provide insight through varied perspectives and involvement of the show a Euro unregistered trademark s audience using social media. Power Politics a Euro hosted by David Shuster from New York City, a political analysis show featuring in-depth looks into issues topping the polls. The stream a Euro hosted by Lisa Fletcher and Wajah Hardali from Washington, D.C., Current events discussion and debate show formatted to allow viewers to interact with the hosts and guests during the program via Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus Hangouts and Skype. The Frost interview was hosted by David Frost. Frost died in 2013, and show still aired posthumously with the family's consent. Notable staff. Equals management equals, Kate O'Brien a Euro president of Al Jazeera America. Equals on air staff equals, a complete list of hosts and correspondents is located in the box at the bottom. Anchors and hosts. Equals correspondents equals. Equals international correspondents equals. Al Jazeera America shares international correspondents and resources primarily with Al Jazeera English, the international English language sister channel which along with other AJMN channels has correspondence and bureau locations in the following places. Middle East and the Mab. Sub-Saharan Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, Harare, Zimbabwe, Johannesburg, South Africa, Abuja, Nigeria. Europe. Americas. Asia Pacific. Equals Northeast Asia equals, Hong Kong, China, Beijing, China, Seoul, South Korea, Tokyo, Japan. Equals ASEAN region equals, Naypyidaw, Myanmar, Bangkok, Thailand, Jakarta, Indonesia, Manila, Philippines. Equals Australasia equals, Sydney, Australia, Wellington. Equals Al Jazeera investigative unit equals, formed in 2010, in its own words. The role of Al Jazeera investigations is not to report the news, but to make the news. The unit, also known as the Investigations Team, or, simply, Al Jazeera Investigations is headquartered at the network headquarters in Doha, but also has representation in London, Washington DC and San Francisco, the last two the base of the Al Jazeera America branch. The unit is a Al Jazeera media network asset and its reports will appear equally on the other channels, tailored appropriately for the relevant language and audience. The unit's investigations resulted, amongst others, in the documentary What Killed Arafat? This film won a CINE Golden Eagle Award.
In 2013, the Arafat findings were indeed reported as a news a euro item on other networks. The documentaries are often presented under their own strand, as Al Jazeera investigates. The original unit chief was Ahmad Ibrahim, but the current manager of investigative journalism for the Al Jazeera media network is Clayton Swisher. Other leading figures include Ed Pound, Karen Whiteman, Trevor Aronson, Frank Bass, Josh Bernstein, Simon Bozman, Will Jordan, Thuis, Ken Silverstein. At its launch, the unit had three separate teams. Awards In 2014, Al Jazeera America and producer Reed Lindsay won a Grassi Award in the A Euro OE Outstanding Hard News Feature A Euro category from the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation for the story A Euro OE Fists of Fury, a Euro which aired on America Tonight. The award was the first award ever for the channel. Al Jazeera America has also won the Shorty Award for Best News Twitter account. The Al Jazeera America show Faultlines won two Peabody Awards in 2013 for the episodes Haiti in a Time of Cholera, and Made in Bangladesh. The channel in Faultlines also won the Robert F. Kennedy Journalism Award for Made in Bangladesh. On September 30, 2014 Faultlines won a News and Documentary Emmy Award in the Investigative Journalism News Magazine category for Haiti in a Time of Cholera. In early 2015, Al Jazeera America's digital team was recognized with an award of excellence for photo editing portfolio in the Pictures of the Year International Competition. In April 2015, Al Jazeera America won 16 national headliner awards including seven first-place wins in various categories including broadcast television networks, cable networks and syndicators environmental reporting, where it held all three top nomination spots with the Fault Lines episode A Euro OE Water for Koala Euro winning overall, broadcast television networks, cable networks and syndicators investigative report, and best of TV where the Fault Lines episode Deadly Force won, broadcast television networks, cable networks and syndicators documentary or series of reports, where the documentary Killing the Messenger won, broadcast television networks, cable networks and syndicators coverage of a major news event, where they also held the top three places with their coverage of the downing of MH14 WINNNG, broadcast television networks. Cable Networks and Syndicators Newscast, where their coverage of the crisis in Yemen and ISIL on the Turkish border won and online slideshow for its digital team. Availability, the channel is currently available in at least 55 million American households with pay television service. In contrast, Al Jazeera English, which launched in 2006 and, until 2013, the network's only English-language channel, was available in only a few U.S. cities and reached 4.7 million households, though it was live-streamed online for free until the launch of Al Jazeera America. Al Jazeera America's programs are not streamed live online in the United States due to contractual stipulations with cable and satellite providers. However, it is being progressively added as a streaming service on the various TV Everywhere platforms of the service providers that the channel is available on as new deals are reached such as Time Warners. Al Jazeera America replaced current TV on Comcast, Dish Network, Verizon and Direct. The channel is also available on Time Warner Cable and Bright House Networks after a contract agreement was reached between Al Jazeera and the carriers on October 24, 2013. Time Warner Cable, which carried current TV in 9 million households, originally dropped the channel because it did not consent to its sale to Al Jazeera. Time Warner Cable carried Al Jazeera English in the New York City market because of a time lease agreement by that network on a sub-channel of WRNN TV until Al Jazeera English was withdrawn from U.S. distribution. Al Jazeera America is also available on Century Link systems and some smaller cable systems. AT&T U-verse did not carry Al Jazeera America at launch, stating that it was due a contract dispute as the reason. Al Jazeera responded with a lawsuit against AT&T for an alleged breach of contract. On June 10, 2014, AT&T and Al Jazeera settled the lawsuit out of court. Al Jazeera America was added to AT&T U-verse on June 27, 2014. In October 2013, 
Al Jazeera America was added to Google Fiber's lineup of channels. The channel currently allows live streaming through TV provider authentication. Equals high definition carriage equals, because current TV operated on a standard definition feed, it is transmitted from some cable providers that previously carried current TV in standard definition only, even though the channel produces its programming in high definition due to Al Jazeera America still being under current carriage deals on those providers. Google Fiber, Bright House Networks and Time Warner Cable were the first providers in the United States that broadcast Al Jazeera America in high definition due to those being new deals. On May 14, 2014, Verizon FIOS added high definition carriage on its service. On June 27, 2014, AT&T Uverse added the channel with direct adding it in HD on November 2, 2015. Dish Network added the channel in HD on November 4, 2015 thus putting the channel in HD on both major U.S. satellite providers. Incidents, while covering the Ferguson protests in 2014, Officers from the Ferguson Police Department shot rubber bullets and tear gas at an AJAM news crew including correspondent Ash Harkarishi, who after yelling, where the press caused them to abandon their recording equipment and run to safety. The incident was caught on camera by KSDK-TV, a local NBC affiliate who was filming from across the street. An officer was captured on video turning the reporter's video camera towards the ground and dismantling their equipment. Other incidents, including the arrests of two print journalists for the Washington Post and the Huffington Post, also occurred during the same time period. Controversies On April 28, 2015, Matthew Luke, Al Jazeera America's former supervisor of media and archive management, filed a $15 million US dollars lawsuit against his former employers over unfair dismissal. Luke alleged that he had been unfairly dismissed by the network after he had raised concerns with the Human Resource Division that his boss, Usman Mahmud, the senior vice president of broadcast operations and technology, discriminated against female employees and made anti-Semitic remarks. In response, Hub al-Shabi, the head of Al Jazeera America, has announced that the network will contest the lawsuit in court. Mahmud has also denied Luke's charges and has alleged that Luke was a difficult employee. In an unrelated development, two female Al Jazeera America employees are Euro Diana Lee, the executive vice president for human resources, and Dawn Bridges, the executive vice president for communications, had resigned that week. On May 4, 2015, Marcy McGuinness, a senior Al Jazeera America's executive and former CBS News anchor, resigned from the company for undisclosed reasons amidst internal dissension with AJAM's management. On May 5, 2015, Al Jazeera Media Network demoted Al Shabi to Chief Operations Officer of Al Jazeera America. He was demoted from CEO after a report from the New York Times of an altercation between him and host Ali Belshi where he attempted to fire and sue the channel's top host. He was replaced by Al Anstey the former managing director of Al Jazeera English. On June 11, 2015, Shannon High Basalik, AJAM's former senior vice president of programming and documentaries, filed a multi-million lawsuit against the channel, alleging a biased pro-Arab coverage and the mistreatment of employees. AJAM has responded that they would contest the lawsuit in court. References External links Official website Broadcastprome.com, story of building AJAM studios and infrastructure in record time.